Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now celebrating 17 years of broadcasting success, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again, both for our radio audience here in Mississippi and our online audience tuning in. Thanks to our friends at Our Radio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. Well, I think one of the big headlines this week is the arrival of the COVID-19 vaccine. Well, one of the things that we've noticed, though, even in my home state of Mississippi, there's still some reluctance of those who are planning on taking the vaccine. However, a recent study shows among seniors, though, the majority of them are planning on taking the vaccine. Well, why is this something that's important for us? We're excited to welcome Richard Ashworth, the president and CEO of Tivity Health, to our program today to talk to us about a recent study that Tivity Health did talking about seniors and their attitude towards the vaccine. Richard, thank you so much for the time today. Really appreciate it. Thanks. Richard, uh, this, this survey that Tivity Health did, talk to us about why you all decided to survey seniors to see what their take was on the vaccine. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we did, the, we did the survey for really one reason, which was just to help. You know, Silver Seekers, which, you know, Tivity Health is, is, a, is a parent company, Silver Seekers is a well-being improvement program we have that helps Medicare beneficiaries. So we, we focus on, like, physical fitness, getting people to the gym or digitally working out, and we help them with social connections. So... For us, it was important to help understand and discover the, the concerns and the challenges. That way, we can help on the communication and coordination side, uh, either between the government and the public markets, just to help you know, seniors understand uh, the choices they have. Well, this has definitely been a history-making week for us, especially in the fight against COVID-19. Uh, Richard, so talk to us about the survey. I mean, what were some of the things that you found that were some of the concerns for seniors when it came to the vaccine? Well, good news first. Uh, Cyrus. So the, the first is uh, 85% of our respondents said that, that at some point they do plan on taking the vaccine. So I think that's good. However, only half of the respondents said that they plan to take it immediately or like within the first month. And actually a third of them said they're a little hesitant and they're going to wait at least three months. So why is that? Well, the number one reason is they're worried about the side effects. In fact, 84% of them said they had concerns about the side effects. And two out of three respondents believe they're going to have to wait anyway to get the vaccine. And then 60% of them are worried about how much it's going to cost. Wow. You know, great, great, uh, great information to know. And I think it's interesting, Richard, as we kind of look at how the rollout is going and what they're saying for the majority of us, I could see where there would be those concerns. But, you know, one of the things I think people are also talking about now, of course, it looks like this week, as we're wrapping up this week, there will be two vaccines that will be uh, available. Uh, why does the potential rollout of the vaccine, Richard, seem to cause additional challenges for seniors? Because it seems like one of them, especially because of the temperature, that's going to be an issue. But what are some of the things that you're hearing? Yeah, I think on the you know logistics and distribution side, you have issues like you know uh, refrigeration or, or where to get it. On the senior population side, it's a, it's a little bit more like you know we've asked them to physically distance. They might have some transportation concerns. Where do they get accuracy of information? They also have some hesitation because you know like even some of the regular population, you know. Is this fire? Is this vaccine going to give me the virus? Uh, what, in the yeah. clinical trial, were seniors part of the clinical trial? So I think starting with long-term care facilities and the rollout is actually going to provide some comfort to the population. And I also think it's really important that you go to trusted places to get information. That way, you're not uh, you don't have any misinformation that you're dealing with. I'm so glad you mentioned that because information seems to be the big thing. Dr. Anthony Fauci has been very big on that about where we're getting the information from. What have you been able to share and what has Tivity Health been able to share, Richard, with individuals about where they can turn to to make sure they're getting the accurate information for them? Well, that's more good news, actually. So, you know, I'm a pharmacist by training myself, so I'm always big on having, um, you know, our senior population of people who are taking medicines to talk to the primary care physician, talk to the pharmacist, talk to their health plan. That's exactly what seniors told us are the three biggest places they go when they want to get information about the vaccine. 78% said their primary care physician, 63% said health plan, and 53% said pharmacist. I think that's good news. To your comment about Dr. Fauci, we asked them where they go for government information, and they said 68% CDC, 64% NIH, and 63% FDA. All credible places to go to get true and accurate clinical and pay information. 
And that is great to know. We began this conversation, uh, Richard, by talking about, of course, the importance of what you've noticed about what people are saying about if they're going to get the vaccine, when they're planning on doing it. So what what is incumbent on all of us? I mean, if there was going to be a message or a call to action, not only for those seniors like the ones that you surveyed, but also for the government leaders, what would you say to them? Oh, for the seniors, I would start with ask questions, go to trusted sources, and then arrange to take the vaccine. <laughs> it's so important, right? That's what I would say. So make sure you're comfortable yourself, ask questions, do that in trusted places, and then take the vaccine. Not only for yourself, but for the loved ones around you. And in fact, that's what, that's what a lot of our seniors told us in the survey as well, is the reason for taking it is for personal protection, but also for those of their family members and friends. On the healthcare and government leader side, be transparent. You know, side effects is the biggest concern, so trust is important. Just be honest about what those side effects are. Right now, according to the CDC, those side effects on the COVID-19 vaccine are very similar to that of the flu vaccine. Say that. Get that information out there. Second, be accurate. Where can I get the vaccine? How much is it going to cost? Under Medicare, it doesn't cost anything. And be timely. The faster we can all get the vaccine, the faster we can return to normalcy. Well, Ted, that is so great, and I'm glad to hear that 85% of those surveyed, uh, Richard, say that they do uh, plan on taking the vaccine. Such an important thing for all of us, and even the the new uh, survey that came out today by Fox News showed that the majority of Americans, it seems like now, are even coming around, even though there was some hesitation. Again, everyone, Richard Ashworth has been our guest. He's the president and CEO of Tivity Health. Uh, Richard, really appreciate you sharing the information from this study. Uh, where can our audience go to be able to get additional information and assistance? Yeah, great. So you can go to TivityHealth.com, T-I-V-I-T-Y, health.com, backslash vaccine study. And you can go and uh, see all of our results there. But if you have information or if you have questions, sorry, about the vaccine, please go to your primary team. And I also want to encourage our audience to uh, to visit Tivity Health on YouTube as well. Richard, I, I saw the great video you did talking about the work that you all are doing there. So definitely congratulations and thanks for that information. And looking forward to having you back on the program again, Richard. Yeah, thanks, Lars. Have a good day. Yeah, you as well. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live today. Let's make today amazing. Take care.